The debut of the second Type R, the Integra Type R, was in August 1995. This made Honda's Type R concept clear and within reach for average sports car fanatics. A front-wheel drive formula. This is just like driving a front-wheel drive formula car. Although the price was set around $17,000, the Integra R was made with the same spirit as the NSXR to prove that even a front-wheel drive car can deliver Honda's racing spirit. Wow, how far is this going? Right to 8,500 revs, and it has massive torque too. The engine was modified to 200 horses. To do this, the Type R engine was taken from the production line and each pole was buffed by hand to remove the slightest roughness of the valve seat. Needless to say, all 16 parts of each engine were buffed by hand. Unlike a mass production car, fastening of the piston rod bolts were done using a micrometer. In a quarter mile, the Type R was hands down faster than the base model. Here's the belt against a 2 liter turbocharged 220 horsepower Sylvia. Ah! I got you now. <laughs> the Integra Type R earns new ground in the 14 second range. As well as the tuned engine, the cross gear ratios after the second gear, which doesn't miss a beat with a VTEC, contributes to the overall performance of the Integra Type R. Now, let's hear from Tatsuru Ichishima, who knows well about the Spec R engine and its tuning. To increase the power of a natural aspirated engine, you need to raise the revolution and at the same time decrease the friction loss at lower RPMs. This balance is the most basic and important factor in tuning the natural aspirated engine. Raising the revolution speed seems easy, but that's not always true. Until 6,000 rotations per minute, the power working downward is about 1.5 to 2 tons, which is higher than the explosion rate in the combustion chamber. However, when the revolution go beyond 6,000 RPMs, the upward power that pulls up the piston becomes larger than the downward power, thus increasing the rotation speed becomes very difficult. When the revolutions get higher, the block twists, the stress of the crank changes and so on, and it gets harder to fairly maintain the clearance of the unit. In a pursuit of power, the 96-spec R engine had to be a reliable production model. Thus, approximately 60 parts were specially developed. It's amazing how well this car runs on a slippery track. Many parts have been tuned from the base model, like the front dumper rate, the variable rated rear springs and stabilizers. Also, the suspension bushings have been greatly reinforced. Opposite to the reinforcement centered in front for the NSXR, the front wheel drive Integra R's reinforcement was concentrated in the rear. In addition to the extra reinforcement bar, 
the body thickness in various parts of the rear have been increased. To overcome the weight increase from the various body reinforcements and other special modifications like to the suspension, much effort was made to decrease the weight of the entire car. In the cockpit, we can see a lot of borrowing from the NSXR. Semi-bucket seats with reclining features were chosen to complement the rear seat. The Type R could be considered the lightweight tuned-up version of the base model SIR. Ordinarily, achieving weight loss might mean to take off as many parts as possible, but a simple diet isn't going to give the car optimum balance. Taking the corner weight and height measurement of the Integra R and its base model, with an average weight passenger on board, the left and right ratio of the Type R was symmetrical, giving the car optimum weight balance. The Type R accomplished this by careful selection of the springs, bushings, and the stabilizers. If you tune this car up further, say by taking more weight off, the optimum corner weight will again be thrown off. To fix that, you'd have to choose stiffer springs or variable rated springs, which would make it necessary to also change to a stiffer stabilizer. Such excess modification would mean sacrificing performance on wet roads and also simply losing riding comfort. In this sense, the Type R is already a finely tuned vehicle. All right, the weighty first time entry of the Integra R, a white three door and a black four door. Competing cars are two liter turbos and even an ARC 7. Oh my gun son! Wow, what a sharp corner entry. I love this VTEC. <laughs> and look at Gonsan go. Impressive Impreza. See ya. <laughs> that car is turbocharged, isn't it? Going into the first corner, the three door Integra again passes the Impreza. Oops. Come on. It's a one-two position for the Integras, but this is the fun of racing. Where is everybody? Spinning around somewhere? Gunson doesn't realize what has happened behind him. I'm serious. No fooling around. After five laps of a seven-lap race, the RX-7 finally comes into the picture. Fodo Integra R finishes second in front of the MR2 and Silver Turbos. The reality is that the three-door is 1.2 seconds faster than the four-door. Of course the three doors faster, but if viewers have family, I think the four door is more than enough. Are the engines on the four door and the three door any different? 
The engine is basically the same, but the weight and the wheelbases are different. Making this much of a car in the small car category is impressive. It's cheap. 18,000 bucks is a bargain for this car. The R is not just an emblem. The R really stands for racing. Haven't had this much excitement in a long time. And so, the 1995-96 Best Motoring Car of the Year goes to... The Integra Type R! All the reviews agreed on this one. Congratulations, Integra Type R.